um, with Kai Yeshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the Most High Yah. Uh, we want to talk today about the uh, metaphysical body of Yah. The metaphysical body of Yah. We're living in a time where we're seeing the body of the Messiah come together. What is that supposed to look like? How does it happen? It takes place in the spirit first so that it can take place in our reality. So we want to talk about these things and we want to, to uh, uh, show by example uh, how we should come together. Uh, and I want to welcome Elder Ben Millet, who's fellowshipping here with us, um, even from his congregation. And, and shalom to Elder Benaiah, Mori Benaiah. And um, all of the, the brothers and sisters that we, we have been fellowshipping with um, here in Atlanta and even in different states. We're trying to do um, what we can to help bring the body together. Realize that uh, as Hebrews, as Israelites, specifically those of us who believe in the Messiah, we already agree on 90% or 95% of the same things. Realize these things. At what point do we start to say, let's focus on where we agree for the sake of coming together? Because we see the world system coming together. We see the beast system forming and taking shape right in front of our eyes. The beast system is rising up, and we're witnessing it daily. So at what point do we say, us as Israelites, we have to start to come together daily? At what point do we say, let's focus on our agreements. Let the differences remain in your own congregations and in your own homes. The doctrine we don't agree on, that could be taught in your own congregation. It could be taught within your own household. But the things we do agree on, that's where we should gather together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're doing what we can and many others have been doing what they can. And if everyone just does what they can, as the beast, the body of the beast starts to form and take shape, we're going to see the body of Messiah, hallelujah, prevailing and taking place over this beast system. So um, we are about to get started, and um, we want to start with a prayer, um, hallelujah. And then after that, we'll, we'll actually, yeah, after that, then we'll welcome the people, and um Show where we are in the calendar and so forth, and get started. You ready? Sure. You stand. Baruch Shem Ka Adonai Yehovah Zebaot. Blessed is thy name, Adonai Yehovah of hosts. Elohe. Ko Hashili King, God of all the apostles, Kepha, Peter, Yochanan, John, Paulos, Paul, Toma, Thomas, Elohe, Abraham, Yitzchak, Yisrael, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, Elohe, Ko Abotenu, God of all of our fathers, Baruch Shemka, Hayom, Wayom Yom. Blessed is thy, is thy name this day and all the days. Hallelujah. Torah Yehovah Lekayenu our Ed Hayom Hazeh. Thank you, Yehovah, for our lives this day. Torah Yehovah Bishvil HaShalom Sheinatata Lanu. Thank you, Yehovah, for the peace that thou has given to us. Torah Yehovah Lekol Birar Kol Thank you, Yehovah, for all thy blessings upon us. Kol Hazman. All the time. Atah HaRishon. Thou art the first. Wa Atah HaAkron. And the last. What ain't Elohe Kamoka? And there is no God like thee. Bashamayim. In the heavens. Oba Aretz. Or in the earth. Otakat Hayam. Or underneath the sea. Ain't Elohe Kamoka, Yehovah. Ain't there is no God like thee, Yehovah. Amen. Torah Adonai Yehovah. Bishvil. Vain. Holy Yaki. Yehoshua Hamashiach. Thank you, Adonai Yehovah, for thy only son that thou, that thou hast born. Adonai Yehoshua Hamashiach. Amen. Ha uh Sholeya Kagado. King. The great apostle. King. Ha Kohen Hagado. The high priest. Ha Melek Hagado. 
The great king. Elohim Hagado. The great Elohim. Bore Hagado. The great creator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Torah Yahweh le debarka. Thank you, Yahweh, for that word. She limat lim limate limata nu. That thou hast taught us. Well, uh, patakta aznenu. And thou hast opened our ears. Lekwa bell to receive. Call me low. All the words. Shall brika of thy covenant. Salakla nu. Forgive us. Lekol kata enu for all our sins. Please, Yehovah. Anaknu nakamnu lefeneka. We repent before thee. Ki anaknu asinu rashaim yom yom. But we do wicked deeds daily. Aval ata el rakum. But thou art the Elohim of mercy. For el kanun. And the God of favor. Amen. Torah Yehovah. Thank you, Yehovah. Bavakwisha Yehovah. Please, Yehovah. Tibare ko makano Yisrael. List all the camps of Israel. Call for hello, Bene Israel. All the congregations of the children. Call Mishpakot Bene Israel. All the families of the children of Israel. Call Ha Morim. All the teachers. Call Ha Anashim. All the men. Call Ha Nashim. All the women. Call Ha Yeladim. All the children. Call Ha Ami. All the people. Tis Korinu Bavakwasha. Remember us, please. Ki anaknu rak afar. For we are only dust. Wa anaknu sor keka. And we need thee. Yom yom. Every day. Tain la nu ruach hakma. Give us the spirit of wisdom. Ruach da'at. Spirit of knowledge. Ruach bina. Spirit of understanding. Yes, yes. Le da'at Torah ka wa basorah ka. To know thy law and thy gospels. Amen. Tibaret na ya. Let us please ya. Uh, uh, Hakita Haze, Hazot. This class. With Tassim the Bareka. And place thy word. Cain. Uh, Betok Levaben. In the midst of our hearts. Amen. Well, Anaknu Charlene. And we ask. Bishfil Ka. For thee. Lassim Hasatan. To put Hasatan. Takat Raglenu. Underneath our feet. To grosh oto. To cast them out. Amen. We'll call Shadaiwa. And all oh, his beings. We'll call Malachiwa. And all his angels. To grosh call at him. Cast them out. But to whom esh. In the pit of fire. Amen. The gates of fire. The depths of fire. Well, Hoshienu. And save us. Moshienu Hagado. Our great South Savior. Amen. Baruch Shemka. Blessed is thy name. Aksha. Now. Tami. Continue. Le Olam. Forever. Wa E. And ever. Bashem Yehoshua Hamashiach. In the name of Yehoshua Hamashiach. Bashem Yehoshua Hamashiach. In the name of Yehoshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom family, we are so grateful to be back with you for another holy Shabbat day. We are so glad that you are here and you are with us and we pray the Most High has been blessing you throughout this week and on this Shabbat day. We want to um, remind you that you can support the ministry one of three ways. You can log on to our website www.kayashula.com and select tithes and offering, click the yellow donate button. And there you may leave your tithes, your offerings, your alms, your donations, however the Most High moves you to support Kai Yeshua. You may also donate via Cash App, dollar sign Kai Yeshua, and through Zelle, Kai Yeshua at gmail.com. And we just want to give a special thank you and a big heart of love out to everyone who continues to support Kai Yeshua for through the Most High and your support is while we are able to continue Hallelujah. and inform each and every week. Hallelujah. 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 Also, after Shabbat, remember you may visit HebrewIsraeliteScriptures.com and select any book that you need to add to your library to make sure that you have the full His Word catalog as it stands right now. 
Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Thank you all know what that means. All right, so we would like to say Shabbat Shalom to our family that have checked in so far. Shabbat Shalom to Healer, the Mind Body Coach. Shabbat Shalom, Yashan Benjamin and your family. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Sarafia. Shabbat Shalom to G Money. Shabbat Shalom to Uzia. Shabbat Shalom, Bryant Johnson. Shabbat Shalom to Zakaya. Shabbat Shalom to the Hood family. Thank you, Brother Yashan, for your uh, super chat. Toda. Shabbat Shalom to Lance White. Shabbat Shalom to Nigel Janiker. Shabbat Shalom to Michelle Whitney, Ryan and Michelle Whitney. Shabbat Shalom to Hadassah Batya. Shabbat Shalom to Sister Keisha. Shabbat Shalom to Brother Marcus and Sister Nukia. Shabbat Shalom to Yaakov, 12 Yehuda. Shabbat Shalom to Mar uh, oh gosh, I forget the name just for um, Marcus and Angela? No. Clarence and Angela Burns. Thank you, Toda. Clarence and Angela Burns. Shabbat Shalom to Eva Eliana. Shabbat Shalom to Natasha Erizeri. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Jamila. Shabbat Shalom to the Maroons. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Kenya. Shabbat Shalom to the Beginners Channel. Shabbat Shalom, Ahava Walters. Shabbat Shalom to Cal 617. Shabbat Shalom to Kihap Yisrael. Shabbat Shalom to Aliosha, uh, Eliezer and Aliosha. Shabbat Shalom to um, Brother Gaelia and Sister Tagelia. Shabbat Shalom, Ima Shamaria. Shabbat Shalom to, um, to Zakaria and Tikania. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Brandy. Shabbat Shalom to Brother Amit in the UK. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom to James Milton Holmes. Okay. And we want to say a big, big Shabbat Shalom to all of our family here in the house. We got it's like a family reunion almost. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been yeah. so long since we've all yeah. been back together. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Of course, to my sister Lavatia. Shabbat Shalom to Natekas and Pamela. More than I. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Shabbat Shalom to Lori Benaya and the Kentucky family at um, yeah, Lost Healing yeah, Ministry. Oh, yeah. Look, what fabulous study or uh, lesson or yeah. I don't know what you want to call it, but it was fabulous. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, Emma Sosomaya. Shabbat Shalom to uh, Nasi, to my son Namiria, and my son Jadiah Malek II, and of course to my niece, Jadiah Malek. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. It's a blessing to be here, to be alive, to give thanks unto the Most High. Yeah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. We're living in exciting times, and we're seeing so many things unfold right before our eyes. But what we need to see unfold next is the coming together of the people. What we need to see next is the coming together of the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. All praise to the Most High Yah. We're going to look at the Enoch calendar and see where we are, what month we're in. <coughs> we are in the month of Keshwan, the 22nd, which is November the 6th. Okay. Let me circle that. Okay. Here we are. Next week is the martyrdom of St. Philip. St. Philip. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, and then the following week after that will be Kislu the first. And then the following week after that will be the martyrdom of St. Andrew. Kephas, brother. All this is taking place within this season of November. So as they celebrate their Thanksgiving, we can remember your host was apostle. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Okay. Um, today we're going to talk about the metaphysical body of Yah. The metaphysical body of Yah. What does the body of Yah stand for? What does it rep represent? The body of Messiah, the body of Yehoshua HaMashiach. 
Um, so we're going to look at pictures of this in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, in the book of Enoch, and apocryphal works as well. We're going to see uh, what the body looks like and how we're supposed to come together as a body, bone to his bone, flesh to his flesh, to each member. For we all need one another. And Yah is allowing the times that we live in to escalate to begin to teach us and show us that we have to come together. As the adversary is drawing ranks and closing down together to come against us, we need to draw ranks and come together in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Most High shall fight our battles. Yes. Hallelujah. But first, he needs a body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let's turn uh, to the book of Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. I want to start here. In Hebrew, Revelations. Revelation 7. Let's start at Revelation 7 and 1. <clears throat> the book of Revelations. Hit Galu. Chapter 7. Verse 1. Mm -hmm. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. North, east, south, and west. Holding the four winds of the earth. The winds of destruction are being held back. The winds of judgment are being held in place. Until the body of Yehoshua appears. But make no mistake about it. Time waits for no man. Time waits for no woman. Time waits for no child. These pro prophecies must come to pass. They must be fulfilled. So Yah is having angels restrain the judgment. But the judgment is about bursting out the door. After this 400 years has passed, he said he was going to bring this nation into judgment for taking his people captive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holding the four winds of the earth, mm -hmm. that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Mm -hmm. And I saw another angel. Ascended from the east, having the seal of the living. And now him. there's another angel with a seal. Ha Hatom means seal. Oh, that's what we did. We got so like, I know we didn't do so. I'm like, read the Hebrew. <laughs> Revelation. I'm like, something feels different. Uh -huh. Okay. But that's fine. Okay. We'll maybe get to that later. Or should we just go ahead and read that now? Yeah. yeah, let's yeah. go to Revelation 7 in Hebrew. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, something's different. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to Testament of Yeshua, Revelations chapter 7. We can do that in Hebrew. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. I knew something was different. Cain. <laughs> okay, here we go. Revelation 7 and 1. Wa'akre Cain, and afterwards, Ra'iti Arba'a, I saw four Malachim, four angels, on Din Ba'arba Khan folk, standing on the four corners of Ha'aretz, of the earth. Wa'ya'atz Ru Ba'arba, and they, I guess, held back. The four Rukot from Ruach winds. Ruach means in Hebrew spirit, but it also means winds. Okay? So you see four um, angels holding back the Ruach or the winds. 
okay, of judgment um, over the earth. Ha'aretz, Asher lo teshuv, teshuv, ruach, lo ba'aretz, wa lo ba'yam, wa lo ba'kal etz. Okay, read that. Revelation, chapter 7, and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, mm -hmm. that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Amen. Verse 2. Wa ere ma'ak, and I saw from Ra'a. Ra'a means to see. Okay. Well, er a malak, and I saw an angel. Ash ahir another ole mamizra. I seen another angel ascend from the east, or from the rising of Hashemish of the sun. Uvyado kotemit, and in his hand was the seals Elohim, was the seals of Elohim. Chayim, the living Elohim. Why yikra quo, and he called forth in the voice, Gado, a loud voice, El Arba'a, unto the four Hamalakim, unto the four angels. Asher Natan lahem, Hachevel, that gave unto him, um, over the earth and over the sea, saying, Go ahead. Verse 2. And I saw another angel ascended from the east, having the seal of the living Elohim. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Amen. Verse 3. Al techavlu et ha'aretz. Hurt not the earth. What et hayam, or the sea. What et ha'etz, or the trees. Ad em chatamnu, until we are sealed. Et ha'avde Eloheinu, with the, until the servants of Elohim are sealed. Al mitzkotam upon their foreheads. Verse 3. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our Elohim in their foreheads. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now there's a sealing going about right now. Right now, as we're witnessing the changes in this world, the changes in the governments, the changes in uh, um, the hearts and the souls and the minds of men, there's a sealing taking place right now. Do you want to be sealed with the seal of God? Some people are making choices that will lead them in the opposite direction. Some people are getting things put into their systems and into their bodies that will turn their hearts more and further away from Yah. There is a change in the time that we're living in that's different than any time on earth. Are you prepared? Are we prepared? Are we coming together as a body in this season? Okay. Verse 4. What Eshma Mispar, and I heard the number. Hachatumim, Mea, Aleph. Well, Arba'im, I heard the number of those who were sealed, 140,000, 140,000, were Arba'a Aleph, and 4,000. Well, Hain Chatomim, and they were sealed, Mekol Shiftei B'nai Yisrael, and they were sealed from all the tribes of Yisrael. Verse 4, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed in hundreds. And forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Now, 
We're going to go to Revelation 7, and we're going to pick back up in English. Okay. Verse 5. All right. Revelation 7 and 5. Of the tribe of Yehuda were sealed 12,000. Amen. First, who? Yehuda. Go ahead. Of the tribe of Reuben mm -hmm. were sealed 12,000. Go ahead. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Amen. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 12,000. Amen. Of the tribe of Manasseh. We're sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Shimon, we're sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Lewi, we're sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Yisaskar, we're sealed 12,000. Go ahead. Of the tribe of Zebulun, we're sealed 12,000. Amen. Of the tribe of Yosef, we're sealed 12,000. Amen. Of the tribe of Benjamin, we're sealed 12,000. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many tribes is that? 12. 12 tribes. 12,000 sealed per tribe. Keep that in mind. Now, let's go to Ze Zephaniah chapter 2. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Ye gather together, O nation not desired, before the, de de before the decree bring forth. What decree bring forth? The four winds of destruction are let loose. Before that decree goes forth, to let forth those four winds of destruction that those four angels are holding back. We must gather together before the winds of destruction are set loose. That's the decree. Read it again. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yehovah come upon you. Before the fierce anger of Yehovah comes upon us. Not after. Before. Go ahead. Before the fierce anger of Yehovah come upon you. Before the day of Yehovah's anger come upon you. Seek ye, ye Yehovah. Yehovah. All ye meek of the earth, yes, which have wrought his judgment, mm -hmm. seek righteousness, yes, seek meekness. Again, seek meekness. Can we humble ourselves to come together as a people? Can I humble myself as an elder before other elders and welcome them into the congregation, into my home, and vice versa? Can you humble yourself? Before your brothers that disagree on 10% of what y'all agree on, you agree on 90% of the same things, 95, but can you humble yourself and say this other 5%, let's deal with that in our own congregations and in our own houses because the beast system is rising up, the decree is going forward. We have any comments? If, um, email, um, no, just Shabbat Shalom. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Seek ye again. Verse 3. Seek ye Yehoah, all ye meek of the earth, uh -huh. which have brought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It, it may, uh, seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be. It shall, may be. Ye shall be hid. In the day of your holy anger. That when these four winds of destruction come, the Most High might hide you. Oh. He might protect you Hallelujah. if you actually learn to come together. Oh. Read it again. Seek ye Yehoah, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be. Ye shall be hid in the day of Yehoah's anger. When the day comes when you can no longer buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast. Do you want to be hidden in that time? Hallelujah. It's coming. Do we want to be hidden when they say, if you don't get this and if you don't get that, you can't keep a job and you can't work here. Meaning you can't purchase food and drink or, or housing 
or medicine or any of these things? Do you want to be hidden in that day when they send the military out for those who are not compliant? Or do you rather focus on the 5 or 10% that you don't agree on and let the adversary overwhelm you like a flood? Will you let the winds of destruction blow your house away and blow your family away and your loved ones and your ministries and your congregations and your assemblies and your camps? Do Are you willing to let the winds of destruction blow those things away because of forsaking this commandment of gathering together? Amen. Let's go back to Revelation 7 again. Revelation 7 and 5. Book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 5. Cain. Of the tribe of Yehudah, uh -huh. were still 12,000. Cain. Of the tribe of Rehubah, were still 12,000. Two. Of the tribe of Gad, were still 12,000. Three. Of the tribe of Asher, were still 12,000. Four. Of the tribe of Naphtali, were still 12,000. Five. Of the tribe of Menasheh, we're sealed 12,000. Six. Of the tribe of Shimon, we're sealed 12,000. Seven. Of the tribe of Lewi, we're sealed 12,000. Eight. Of the tribe of Yisra's car, we're sealed 12,000. Nine. Of the tribe of Zebulun, we're sealed 12,000. Ten. Of the tribe of Yosef, we're sealed 12,000. Eleven. Of the tribe of Ben Yamin, we're sealed 12,000. Hallelujah. This. After this. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on one second. This is the entire body of Messiah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The metaphysical body of Yah. In order for Yah to save his people and to save the body, the body must first come together. He's not come to save one foot all the way on the other side of the field and a hand all the way across the street and a head up the block and a torso rolling in the uh, bushes outside. He's coming for a whole person, for his bride. He's not coming for pieces of a bride. He's coming for the whole bride. So in order for the body to come together, we must learn to love each other. We must learn to fellowship based in the areas where we agree. Because the head doesn't do what the hand does. So if the head speaks, the hand can't get mad at the head for speaking. And the head can't get mad at the hand for holding, for fighting, for protecting, for feeding. They have to learn to respect each other's gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get that. Where's that? Romans? 12. We got comments? Yeah. Okay, let's read some comments. <laughs> All right, we have from um, Nigel says, 
The first meta, Facebook is the pretender. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Sister Tagelia says, now I know where the Muslim get that name, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Right. I'm shaking my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans 12. No, I mean, sneak out. 1 Corinthians 12. Did I say Romans at first? Yes. 1 Corinthians. Sneak out. 1 Corinthians 12. First Corinthians 12, let's start. Let's start at verse 4. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same ruach. If you have a gift for teaching, and someone else has a gift for uh, gathering people together. Should they be envious at one at the other? Mm -hmm. The person who has a gift of gathering people will gather all the people to himself knowing he can't teach a doggone thing. And he'll make himself a teacher and an elder over all these people leading them astray knowing he don't know nothing. But his talent is actually in gathering. And the person who's going out to teach is focusing on competing with the one who's gathering all these people. So he's trying to do all these things to get a bunch of people together and he's forsaking the truth of the word and he's watering down the word in order to appeal to people instead of teaching the truth thus saith Jehovah or should these two brothers come together and appreciate each other's gifts go ahead verse 5 and there are differences in administ of administrations, but the same Adonai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are diversities of operations, right. but it is the same Elohim which worketh in all in all. Mm -hmm. But the man manifestation of the rock is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the rock the word of wisdom. Mm -hmm. To another, the word of knowledge by the same Ruach. Some have gifts of wisdom, have, some have gifts of knowledge. Knowledge is information. Yeah. Wisdom is known when the information is to be applied. Go ahead. Verse 9. To another, faith by the same Ruach. Some have incredible faith. To another, the gifts of healing by the same Ruach. Yet they all envious of each other's gifts. When if they came together to form the body, they would begin to appreciate each other's gifts. Some Hebrews deny Gentiles. Would you actually steal a soul away from heaven? Heaven? A willing soul? Would you actually deny the living creator a willing soul who wants to serve him? But maybe that's not your gift. Maybe you're focused more on the 12 tribes alone or on one tribe alone. Why didn't you refer that Gentile to somebody whose gift it was to teach the Gentiles? Why did you instead create a stumbling block? And cast aside a soul who would serve you. Because you didn't want to see the other congregation grow. Go ahead. Verse 10. To another, the working of miracles. Mm. To another, prophecy. To another, the, the discerning of spirits. And some people, when you can discern, they don't want you discerning. Because then you'll be able to see them for who they really are. Wow. Absolutely. You'll be able to see what's really going on. Mm -hmm. So they don't want you to be able to discern. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Why are you always thinking about these other things? That's your gift. So they're afoot and they're telling you 
as a head, not to think. Just follow me. That's the foot's job to follow and to walk. The head's job is to think. Go ahead. Verse 10. To another, the working of miracles. Mm -hmm. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. That ain't Hebrew, that's Yiddish. <laughs> that's Yiddish you speak. Why? Because you're envious of the gift of tongues. The gift of languages and interpreting of languages. So because you can't do it, you discourage everyone else who can. And everyone else who would have, had not you gave them a false doctrine. So, to another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. Mm -hmm. But all of these worketh that one and the self same ruach, dividing to every man severally as he will. Let Yah decide whose gifts are whose. You just give the encouragement. And if you're in a position of authority or leadership, don't try to make everybody else like you. Make them like your Hoshua. Nurture their different gifts instead of holding back their gifts because their gifts were different than yours. Do you have any comments? Um, Ahaba Walter says that the metaverse where they will make everything digital and if you don't comply to certain things you won't be able to buy or sell in this metaverse. That's right, it's coming. Obadiah Dawid says we have to humble ourselves. The Most High humbled us in the wilderness the first, first time out of Egypt. And Cody Carolyn says, Shalom says, I just posted on my page about a nation that has nothing, not even land to call our home and be so selfish. Mm. Okay. You spoke on the person that can um, tell that person um, about that person's spirit. If you can't, if that person can't elaborate on that and tell that person about themselves, um, it's hurting the body mm. um, from not being able to move forward right. when you let something continue grow, to grow mm. and hurt everybody. When that thing can be shut down, killed, and we can move on. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of first, the book of First Corinthians, chapter uh, chapter twelve, verse ten. I mean, uh, verse uh, twelve. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Mashiach. So also is Yehoshua. So when we fight against other people's gifts and talents, you're fighting against the Messiah. For by one ruach are we all immersed into one body, whether we be Yehudim or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one ruach. Mm. For the body is not one member, but many. The body is not one member. So I can't try to pigeonhole everybody else to dress like I dress. To style their hair or their beards like I style my beard. You'll see this in Israel. To wear all the same color garment. All the time. Are you encouraging the gifts of the different members of the body? Or are you trying to make everybody a hand? 
you're trying to make everybody an elbow or a shoulder instead of allowing everyone to operate and appreciate the different gifts. Go ahead. 15. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? Mm -hmm. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? Mm -hmm. If the whole body were an eye. If the whole body were an eye, because that's how some people in Israel would prefer it. They would all like everybody to be just like them. And if you're not part of that congregation, then you're not in the truth. If you're not that part of that congregation, you never knew Yah. You're a rebel or a renegade Israelite because you're not rolling with this crew over here. And they're all just a baby toe. Go ahead. 17. If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? Then nobody could hear anything. They're just watching you. If the whole were a hearing, where were the smelling? Mm -hmm. But now hath Elohim set the members, every one of them, in the body, as they have pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? Mm -hmm. But now are they many members, yet but one body. Okay. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Because if something gets in the eye, the eye can't wipe itself. You need your hand to wipe your eye. Go ahead. Nor can, can I get my left eye to put visine in my right eye? No. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. If the head gets banged and, and, and falls and needs to go to the doctor, how is it going to do it without the feet? Yes. I love what you're, you're building on, and I just have a question. Dang. All right. I'm Elder Ben Melick from Save Your Word of Yah Ministries, and I'm here visiting uh, Kai Yashua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Getting, uh, getting this knowledge. Praise Yah on the Shabbat. All right, but uh, what I would like to know, I mean, in theory, uh, me and, and young uh, Nasi went and we engaged with uh, Ayas, with IUIC, mm -hmm. and they were on the corner, and we tried to build with them, and, and we did, and we're going to, you know, uh, but my point, this is my question. When you say nation come together, or, or as you're pointing out, we're just different members of the body, mm -hmm. um, do you anticipate a purpose for each group coming together, or do you feel that certain groups nullify themselves by not uh, being, like even when we were there, they were pointing out how that, now see, tell them, how did the brother say, we can't come together because of what now? Oh, they, they pretty much were just saying like that, we want all, all the camp there, all Israelites won't come together and send them, I see out in turn, pretty much what they were saying like. Right. Yeah, Is that true, and from your perspective? Um, no, it's, it's untrue. Um, What's going to happen is those who do not come together, the winds of destruction are going to wipe them away. That's more was my perspective. Right. That we'll be forced. Yes. To, not like we want to. Mm -mm. Because you know we all have our our comfort zones yes. as far as doctrinal perspectives. Right. But what you're pointing out is what you might know knowledge-wise as a head, you can't accomplish as a fist. No. <laughs> and then brothers, you might not like as far as head knowledge, right. you can appreciate fist knowledge. Mm -hmm. right. Am I right or wrong, my brother? Right. So here's what happens. There's one mouth. Now I see you have one mouth, right? Okay. How many fingers do you have? That's a wrap. Ten, <laughs> right? <laughs> so the fingers say, well, there's more of us than that. So we must be right. Because there's only one of you, but there's ten of us. And matter of fact, there's two hands. Numbers, yeah. So we got the numbers. 
So we're right. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're just one. So who are you? Or you're a nose. You got two nostrils. You just got two. We got ten. We got ten. And we got others who look kind of similar to us. We fight sometimes, but they like, like, we, like us. We can relate to the toes. We can relate to the toes. <laughs> if I'm going to work with anybody, I'll work with the toes. Come on, my brother. Because there's 10 like us, and they dress like us or come from the same doctrinal Teach whatever. program. And right. that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. And so now they're without ears. They're without mm. eyes. They're without a neck. There's one neck. There's one throat. It's one brain, but the Messiah is that, you know. But there's one of these things, and they'll look at somebody who has one of those things as inferior because they have 10 or 20. And then the, the parts that are seen are the only parts that they consider, not considering there's organs that's internal that you don't see. So they think everybody in Israel has to be seen and look just like them. And that's the conflict. So it said in Zech uh, Zephaniah, gather yourselves together before the decree comes, before the destruction came. Uh, yeah. I think, cause like we, we had got we had got on the top of the hill talking about like acts and whatnot, so we got on that. But I think I think what they was more thinking, you know what I'm saying? We never really have much time. But they was more getting that doctrine wise, you feel me? And that's what was true what they yeah. were pointing. That's what I wanted you to point out, the doctrinal point that they were pointing. Yeah, yeah, they you know what I'm saying? The doctrine like went one of my shit every time, you know, then we'll get all that straight, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But in regards to gathering, like hey bro, you, you know what I'm saying, let's build, let's get this going together. You with whoop the whoop, I'm with who the whoop, you feel me? I wanna <laughs> 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 I want to bring out a, a point for those who uh, are, are searching and praying for these things to manifest. Because some of us, you know, are searching scriptures and praying for revelation and understanding, etc. And some are making sure they align with what their teachers are teaching or programming. Amen. Right. Those are the, the two schools. Now, I'm, uh, I'm kind of self-taught or, you know, to a degree... Um, I was led of God. I have anointing, so I, I, I stay in my lane. And I see you have an anointing. That's what you're teaching on. We all have a part of the body, but we all want to be the whole body. And again, exactly. that's your teaching. And, and my comment is this, that I did a painting, and it's called United as a Nation We Stand and Divided by Religions We Fall. And what it is is a man, a lot of, a lot of people, women, children, coming together to stand up. And in the valley of dry bones is they have a cross, a Muslim, uh, a moon, a star, and they're killing each other over these religions mm -hmm. instead of coming together as a nation. Right. Mm -hmm. Now the point in coming together as a nation is that you gotta come up under the word. The word is here in the chest, the heart is the law, and the head is the Bible of which Christ mm -hmm. is opening up the Bible. It's mm -hmm. one person in the head which is Christ. Right. Moses is the heart, the law. And we all coming together under this one. Now, everybody can't be the arm, everybody can't be the head, everybody, nobody's the head. That's the point of mind. Exactly. We have to come up under the, the scriptural knowledge is going to elevate you to a position, you know, of authority, put it like that. Mm. Because Mashiach or the truth or the word is the authority. Right. It's not us. Right. Thank you. And any person can come and go. But the body still continues and the truth still continues. Teach. So we can't take any knowledge with us and think we're gone or we we leave the picture or whatever and the it's nation is gonna right. yeah, it's over for, for, for everybody. Okay. So this is what happens. We have people who are toes or fingers who think that they are the majority and therefore they are right. And that's not the case. Until they fall off the cliff. Until they fall off the king. Yes. So we're all supposed to be learning under the authority of a king. King. Which is the word and the spirit. Yeah. This is, you know, uh, what I we attempted to do years ago with one particular brother in, 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 in his camp. And in 
this is what we taught on, and this is many, many people were offended at. But it's the truth. The camp's job is to go out and evangelize. They're supposed to go out and get the people. That's their calling. But they really don't have deeper knowledge. And they deny the calling of the assembly. So we're going to teach you the deeper things of the law. It doesn't mean one is better than the other. They're codependent. So what happens is people get offended and they get upset at these things. Are you saying you know people such as, than this group over here or you have more numbers than that group over here when the purpose is that they're actually one is supposed to go out and fish and the other is supposed to cook the fish. Teach, King. <laughs> it's too simple. That's the problem. See, we... <laughs> you fish outside and you cook inside, right. and we all come together and eat. Right. And you know, my brother, this the same principle applies to everything. Right. Scripturally, there's Jews, man, Gentiles. The, the female or going to be attached to us. We have to redeem the gender. I'm not saying they feminine, but I'm saying, you get what I'm saying? I understand. The head and the body. This is all through scriptures. You have Judah and then you have the 12 tribes. Or you'll have the Levites and the 12 tribes. Right. I mean, the father is all, he's setting a state. And what I'm saying is we have to understand that again, the authority is the creator. You cannot just jump and take the authority. You have to, the father, you can't even earn the authority. I mean, the Mashiach died to get what he did. Right. My knowledge and your knowledge is based on years of, of research and, and rejection. And, 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 and you get what I'm saying? Right. You can't just jump into your position. No. Brother. It's earned and it's given by it's, Yah. Whatever it, our true position is, it's given from above. And, but then you have others who put their own selves in position. Like, uh, Who's examples of this all throughout scripture who want to put themselves in position? Like Esau and uh, Ishmael. Right. Uh, Simon, the Simon the sorcerer, good. The ones who came against Moses. Mm -hmm. The ones, yeah, that's the best example, one of the best. Saul. Saul. And he was anointed. But here's the point he was anointed to do the Most High's work. Like, aren't you? Right. And me? But he, when we forsake it, people think when we stumble that we still going to have, uh, not stumble, but when we fall and we just blaspheme like he did, mm -hmm. and he murdered, he killed the whole city of Levites. Come on. And still walked around as though he was anointed. And the army of Israel still supported Saul, watching him kill all these innocent Levites. And this is what we have to understand, Elder Moray, in the context of we're playing, we're not even playing, but what we represent is real. And the world does not perceive. So you, me, we have to really understand the, the high stakes value of these souls that we're ministering yes. to. That that there are spirits out there that have, I mean, they're dangerous in the context. If it weren't for the most high, I feel I would never be taking the posture uh, that I'm taking. But knowing that, knowing and having knowledge at the time, it's time. Yes. We can be immortals, bro. Right. Because we know it's time. Right. They're going to eliminate each other. Yep. Because he said we coming together. So the thing is, like you say, before the time. Before. Now, again, you know, that, that trumpet going to sound and we have to come together before him. Because people that know, know that when that trumpet sound. Right after that, Antichrist come in yes. and turn everything. And now, yeah. from everybody loving us, we, you know how people are. In the Bible, they was going to make a God out of Paul. The next minute somebody came along, they ready. They, and the fact, they did stone them. Yep. So, you can't look at people lifting you up. You better run from that. Run from flattery. Yes. But my point is, it's coming. And, and as it's coming, we have to be in a position to understand our role, our responsibility mm -hmm. that we've been blooded and beaten. We, I mean, you know, and so again, when we be humble and just lay back and... This is what it is. And then we'll get back to the word. Um, when coming into the truth, 
and understanding about secret societies and all this other stuff, sometimes you hear people talk about gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. The gatekeepers of Hollywood, the gatekeepers of uh, status or wealth right. or this or that. Yeah. And what we really have realistically is we have gatekeepers in Israel. Let's just keep it real. You have so-called Israelites who want to be gatekeepers. And they want to hold back and restrain anyone they don't like or they don't approve of. That doesn't agree with their personal right. perspective. And Yah is raising them up regardless. Hallelujah. 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 So the thing is to stay in your gifts and work your gifts and your talents regardless of what the others say. So many want to be gatekeepers. And many groups want to be gatekeepers. And if, uh, if you don't... Uh, kiss the ring and bow before them, then, hey, we don't want to promote you or we don't want to even recognize you right. or we don't want to do this or that. Right. And that's what's in Israel. Right. And y'all is going to move the gatekeepers uh, out the way. Another name for gatekeepers is hirelings. Hirelings. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, right. Let's what get back to the word. Hey. They about money and power. Hey. Not about people. And yeah. Let's go. Book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 22. Let's start at verse 21. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. Do you, are you meek? Are you humble? And some groups will look down on you. The ones that seem, appear to be feeble, are more necessary than you think. And you think because, oh, well, they don't do this or they don't have that or whatever, that they're unnecessary. False doctrine. Go ahead. Teach. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, uh -huh. upon these we bestow more abundant honor. Mm -hmm. And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. That's right. So you have to appreciate everything. Even the behind. <laughs> Go ahead. For our comely parts have no need, mm -hmm. but Elohim hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which... The part lacked. that lack honor is given even more mm -hmm. honor by Yah. Go ahead. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. So the gatekeepers or the hirelings will be pushed out of the way in this season. As the body starts to actually come bone to his bone and flesh to his flesh, these hirelings and gatekeepers will truly be revealed for what they always were. All right. Let's go back to the diagram. So the body of Yah is the 12 tribes. We have the 12 parts here. And the head is Yehuda. Okay. And the right hand is Benjamin. And it can be debated, a lot of these other parts. But, uh, Initially, there was 12 tribes, really 13 tribes, and one is hidden, which is Lewi. But, like, he's the blood, that's right. He flows through the body as the Levitical cities were scattered and flowed throughout the 12 territories of the tribes. They always needed Levitical cities in them so that the blood flows. And the life in the blood is the life. Okay, the life is in the word. The Levite's job was to teach the word. And I believe right here is Yosef or Ephraim. And other parts can be debated. But this is, yes. Isn't there like some sections in like the scriptures that talk about different tribes being in like the left or the right. Like um I think Judah was at east. Right. There's oh, yeah. scriptures and numbers concerning that. Mm -hmm. The their alignment or their array around the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. So that 
there's many people who debate the significance of those same scriptures you're talking about. You know, um, but this is the main parts of the body. Okay, the head, the heart, and your hand. Okay, and then the parts of the body that reproduce. You know, all of these things are important. And the parts of the body that get you to and fro and fight or defend for you or, or manage or maintain. Mm -hmm. All of these 12 tribes come together to form this one body, the metaphysical body of Yah. Let's go to Second Enoch. Second Enoch 11. Second Enoch 11, page 207 should be. Second Enoch 11, verse 56. The book of Second Enoch, also known as Secrets of Enoch, chapter 7, excuse me, chapter 11, verse 56. And there was evening, and there was morning, a sixth day. Came. Verse 57. And on the sixth day, I commanded my wisdom to create Adam from the seven foundations. From the seven foundations or the seven spirits reflected in Adam's body and in creation. His flesh from the ground, his blood from the dew, two, and his eyes from the sun, three, and the deep sea, his bones from stone, four, his intelligence from the swiftness of the angels, and from the cloud, five, his veins and his hair from the grass of the earth, six, his soul from my breath, and from the wind, seven. Let's go to Isaiah 11, and we're gonna come right back here. You can, you can stay there, and you go to Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 1. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Yeshai, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Ruach of Yehoah shall rest upon him. 1. The Ruach of wisdom. 2. And understanding. 3. The Ruach of counsel. 4. And might. 5. The Ruach of knowledge. Six. And of the fear of Yehoshua. Seven. So, in Yehoshua, the branch of Yeshai would come forth a man with these seven spirits in him. This is the second Adam. The second Adam is made and composed of entirely spirit. Where the first Adam is composed of matter. So one is carnal and the other is spiritual. Hallelujah. Let's go back to Enoch. Alright. Second Enoch, chapter 11, verse 58. And I gave him seven natures. Hearing to the flesh, seeing for the eyes, smelling for the soul, feeling for the veins, taste for the blood, endurance for the bones, beauty for the imagination. All right. So, these seven here, let me erase this now. Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 6. Book of 
1 Corinthians 6. And 19. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh? And now this body is the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh. These 12 tribes, these members are the body. We are the body. We are the temple. Go ahead. Know ye not that your temp your body is the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh, which is in you, which ye have of Elohim, and ye are not your own. We don't own our bodies. We're leasing them. We have to give it back to its owner. Sooner or later. For ye are bought with a price. Mm -hmm. So... The second Adam made of spirit purchased the first Adam, which was made of flesh. Because the first Adam sold his soul, his soul was sold to Satan in the garden. And being that we were all seeds in the loins of Adam and Kawa, we were part of that deal. So Satan would have all of us condemned to hell for an eternity <coughs> had not the second Adam stepped in and redeemed us with his own body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify Elohim in your body and in your Ruach, which are Elohim. So the body now is the temple. So, again, we'll draw a quick diagram of a temple. All right. So, we have the most holy, and we have the holy, and then we have the court. Was the court for the Gentiles? Yes. The court's going to be for the Gentiles, absolutely. Read some comments in the meantime, please. Mm. All right, we I have thought a I sent, um, I had a bunch of pictures that I um downloaded and I had sent here, and I don't see them now. Sister Natasha Irizarry. Mm -hmm. She says, Levi is the blood question. 
does this have anything to do with blood types and how there is one blood type that can give blood to all types? That's uh, a very good revelation. I'm quite sure that that's probably so. Okay. Hallelujah. Is that all the comments? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's uh, relevant to um, her um, answer, I mean, her question, because they always portray us as having that superior blood, like in the movie I um, Legend and stuff like 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 that. You know, they know that we have that. Okay. Mm -hmm. is from uh, our Kentucky family, Y'all Salem Ministry. Hey, Shalom fam. They are watching with us now, and um, Sister Shatari says, we keep yelling at the TV. Come on now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all, man. Yeah. We had fun yesterday. Told out for sharing with us. Man, that was such a blessing. All right. This is the door. This right here, let me crop that a little bit. That is the um, altar of burnt offering. Next we have the labor. Sorry, this is taking a little bit of time. I tried to prep this because some things came up earlier. All right, that's where you wash, right? Mm -hmm. Then when you come inside, you have your golden candlestick. This is all the body we're talking about. And then you have the table of showbread. Oh man, I don't see my showbread. That's the altar of incense. Give me one more second. Mm. Yeah, I don't have the table of showbread. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, go bring the computer up here for me, please. And I'll finish the rest. Okay. And we have the Ark of the Covenant. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have the door, we have the altar, we have the labor, we have the table, the lamp. The incense, and then we have the ark. Okay. Hand me that, please. And you can read some comments up. Talk to me for a second. <laughs> okay. 
Right. So well, shalom family. We pray that you all are enjoying this fabulous lesson. I'm sure those pens and papers are moving quite fast right now. Please remember to thumbs up the video, like the video, share the video to all of your social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, what else is there? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Sister Natasha, she added that she was asking that question because her mom's father was from Haiti and her blood type was O. That's why she was asking about the Levites and the blood. Donald Harmon says, Paul said about the temple of Jehovah's in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. All right. And family, we know our next feast coming up is Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Hanukkah is found in 2 uh, Maccabees. And so if you are interested in fellowshipping with Kai Yeshua doing Hanukkah, the dates will be Wednesday, December the 8th, through Sunday, December the 12th. Please send us an email at kayashua at gmail.com. And we are looking forward to a fabulous celebration of Annika. And for all those who are able to join us, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the table of showbread. Okay. John, praise y'all. Praise y'all. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have the door, the altar, <coughs> two, three, the the brass labor, four is the table of showbread, five is the lamp. Six is the incense, and seven is the ark or the most holy place. This is all a picture of the body of Yehoshua HaMashiach, right? So, let's go back to it. Um, we were in Enoch. Chanok 11, let's start at 57. Second Enoch chapter 11, verse 57. And on the sixth day, I commanded my wisdom to create Adam. He's created Adam. Go ahead. From the seven foundations. Mm -hmm. His flesh from the ground. Okay. His blood from the dew. Mm -hmm. And his eyes from the sun and the deep and the deep sea. His bones from stone. His intelligence from the swiftness of angels and from the clouds. His veins and his hair from the grass of the earth. His soul from my breath and from the wind. All right. Read it again. All right. Second Enoch 1157. And on the sixth day, I commanded my wisdom to create a dumb from the seventh foundation. His flesh from the ground. All right. The first foundation. The flesh. Mm -hmm. The door. Go ahead. His blood from the dew. Blood is shed on the altar. And his eyes. Hold on, hold on one second. I'm writing it down as we go. Okay. The flesh is from the ground. The tabernacle and the door leads to the outside world, which is the ground or the field. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. All right. We got his flesh from the ground, mm -hmm. his blood from the dew, mm -hmm. and his eyes from the sun and the deep sea. The sea, the water, the labor. We have the eyes. 
Inside of here, of course, is filled with immersion water. Uh-huh. His bones from stone. His bones from the stone. Right? What builds your bones and gives you strength is what you eat. The bread. The food nourishes your bones. Go ahead. His intelligence from the swiftness of the angels and from the cloud. His intelligence or the light of knowledge. Go ahead. His veins and his hair from the grass of the earth. From the grass. Where do we get our incense from? His hair and what else? And his veins. And his veins. You get your flowers and your roses and your frankincenses and all of these fragrant herbs. Right? And you burn them. His soul from my breath and from the wind. His soul from the breath, which is what's the word for it in Hebrew? Ruach. 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 The metaphysical body of Yah. Hallelujah. So within that, we have Judah and we have Ephraim. We have the Most Holy. Then we have the holy, and then we have the court. And within these are all the organs of the body. You have the other tribes, and they are important members of the body, but the difference between these the head, the chest, and the loins is that these hold organs. The limbs do not hold organs, but they are very important to the body because it's the limbs that take care of the organs. You can't have care for your organs without your limbs. And the limbs won't get the supplies that they need without the organs. Right? So, let's do it again. We have the door. In the court there. We have the altar. Oops. What happened? I don't know what Scale this down. You can read while I do this. Uh, any comments or anything like that. Um, I'm setting this up. Yeah, a cold drug Yehuda says, if Levi were priests and Levi are the lawgivers, that means that if Levi is the blood, that means that Yah's people has the law in them and should be displaying it. 
Mm -hmm. Mr. Natasha, she said, interesting because they say that hair is an extension of the nervous system. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, don't forget family, thumbs up the video. We have about 130 people on, we've got, well, let me see, I need to refresh how many thumbs up do we have. All right, we got 78 thumbs up, so let's get those thumbs up family so that more people can get this uh, lesson and it can be shared in more places. Copy and place it and share it to your Facebook page. Um, Take a screenshot of it, paste it to your Instagram, tweet a link on your Twitter, and wherever else you may be, and share this lesson. And remember also, you can also support the ministry one of three ways. You may go and log into our website, Kayashua www.kaiyeshua.com where you may select tithes and offerings and there click the yellow donate button where you may give your tithes, your alms, your offerings however the most high may move you you may support via cash app dollar sign Kayashua as well as Zell Kayashua at gmail.com and we just thank everyone for their continued support um Got Shabbat Shalom to a few people who are on Facebook. Brother Kananya, Yaazanya um, Ban Yasha Allah, Donan Yashua All, and Nina Eliana, J. Mario, um, George Shippy from the UK, and he has a prayer request on your behalf. Uh, you can do at the end. Uh oh, what happened? Say so where that might be. It's like whenever you move to the picture, it, it, you okay, there we go. Okay. All right, hallelujah. <laughs> so we have the organs within the body. All right. The most holy place contains the ark, the brain. The lungs, the altar of incense. The two, uh, I mean, the table of showbread is the heart. The menorah is the aorta valve. The vessels that feed the heart, blood, and pump throughout the system. Then we have the altar of sacrifice, which is the loins. And then we have the door, which is the exit to the body. The metaphysical body of Yah. And then we have the 12 tribes. You want to say something? No, sorry. Just look like it was one missing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. There's something missing. What's missing? The, uh, the, labor. the labor. The labor. Came. The kidneys came. Told that. And the labors, the kidneys. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that really should be here, but there's not enough room to put it there. That's in the court. The metaphysical, metaphysical body of Yah. The 12 tribes come together, and within the 12 tribes, we have the seven spirits, which give life to the 12 members. It's in these 12 members that the spirits reside. Let's go back to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 57. 
Verse 57. Okay. And on the sixth day, I commanded my wisdom mm -hmm. to create Adam from the seven foundations. His flesh from the ground. Mm -hmm. The door. His blood from the dew. Right. The altar. And his eyes from the sun and the deep sea. The labor. His bones from stone. The showbread. His intelligence from the swiftness of the angels and from the clouds. The menorah. His veins and his hair from the grass of the earth. The altar of incense. His soul from my breath and from the wind. The ark of the covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Is not his word perfect? Does not his word and this prove who created the body? Can I go to Egypt and find this information? Yeah. Can I go to uh, what did he say he was first? A Sumerian? <laughs> Can I go to Sumerian records and find this first? But with proper discernment through the word of Yah, all things are revealed in Scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can find it all in the Scripture. Proving to you who created, who is the creator. Because in his word, there's a Scripture for everything. Meaning, there's Scriptures on the earth and creation and nature, but also on the body and who created it. There's Scriptures for everything. It's just Yah revealing his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to discern it. So people look for deep things, and because they have not invested the time in the relationship with Yah, they'll look for deep things of the devil and bring sin, iniquity, and idolatry, and blasphemy, and fornication into the body of Messiah, thereby defiling the bride with this so-called wisdom. Go ahead. Verse 58. And I gave him seven nations, hearing to the flesh, seeing for the eyes, smelling for the soul, feeling for the veins, taste for the blood, endurance for the bones, beauty for the imagination. Okay. And Hold therefore. On. Hold on. Hold on one second. Seeing is the sea. Smelling is the altar of incense. Feeling is the menorah. Taste is the table of showbread. Endurance is the burnt altar. Beauty is the ark of the covenant. And hearing is the door. Because to come in, you first have to hear the word. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here we go. Amen. Any comments? Yeah. Okay. Verse 59. Just All right. Um, OC Lowe says that you can type in hair is mechano sensory, and it will show the diagram as to how the hair is a part of the nervous system. Um, RCLM says that the Native Americans keep their hair because they know it's an extension of the nervous system. Lance, all honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Jehovah. Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Zacchaeus says in Egypt, they throw away the brain when doing the mummification process. This is why they see themselves as an Elohim. They don't have the Ark of Jehovah. Came. So let's go to uh, the Gospel of Bartholomew. Bartholomew. So actually, should we finish? Let's finish reading this first, and then we'll go there. Okay. And I gave him seven natures. And I gave him seven natures. Hearing to the flesh, seeing for the eyes, smelling for the soul. Feeling for the veins, taste for the blood, endurance for the bones, beauty for the imagination. And therefore, 
I devised a wise saying, for I created an invisible and visible substance. Seen and unseen. Invisible, second Adam. Visible, first Adam. Go ahead. Man has both death and life, and the image knows the word, and there is nothing in creation like him. He is small in greatness and great in smallness. Verse 60, and I placed him as a second angel on the earth, upright and in great and great in glory. And I appointed him king upon the earth, that he might rule in my wisdom. And there was none like him on the earth of all my creation. And I appointed him a name from the four winds. From the four winds. <laughs> Go ahead. From the east. From the west, from the north, from the south. And I appointed four brilliant stars for him. And I called his name Adam. Four angels, four stars. Go ahead. Verse 65. And I gave him his own will. And I showed him two paths, light and darkness. And I said unto him, this is good for you. And this is evil. That I may know if he has love for me or hatred. That it be shown if his seed loves me. If we love him. Because we will be tempted. With two choices. Good or evil. And I saw his nature. And he did not know his own nature. And of the knowledge of evil. And sin. And so he sinned. And I said. After sin. There is nothing but death. Verse 67. And I placed them in a tabernacle. But I placed them in the tabernacle. This is what we're showing you. The tabernacle. And I placed them in a tabernacle. And I brought upon him a deep sleep. And I took a rib from him in his sleep. And I created a wife for him. On account of this, death should not come to him by the hand of his wife. Excuse me, death should come to him by the hand of his wife. Read it again. Verse 69. On account of this, death should come to him by the hand of his wife. Because the surgery took place. He went into the deep sleep. He was dead, so to speak. And y'all pulled the rib out of him. And that's what caused him to die. So it was manifested when Eve became a living soul. Verse 70. And I took another letter from his name, Adam. And I live. Dalit. Man. Mm -hmm. And I call her name. Um, mother. She is so Hawa. He took out from Adam the middle letter, the dollar, and she became a mother. M. She is Hawa, Adam, and the mother of life on earth. And I made a garden in Eden. From the beginning, that he might establish and keep the covenant. And I made the heavens open for him, that he might see the angels perpetually singing songs. And light without darkness was continually in the garden. So while he was in the garden, he could see the veil removed. And he could see the heavenly angels worshiping and praising. And when the sin took place, Yah closed the veil and rolled it up like a scroll. And when he returns, he's going to open it like a scroll. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 73. And Satan understood that I desired to create another world where he would obey Adam upon the earth. Read it again. This is why Satan hates us. Verse 73. And Satan understood that I desired to create another world wherein he would obey Adam upon the earth and have dominion and rule upon it. And Satan 
is the devil of the lower places because he was first driven away from the heavens and was made Satan. And his name was Satanil. And by this was he separated from the angels. And the nature of his thoughts did not change. He would not repent. He's a reprobate. Cannot repent. Thoughts concerning righteousness and sin. And he understood his judgment and his sin that he said in former times. And therefore, he plotted against Adam. And by this, he came to the garden. And seduced. And he seduced. What does it mean to seduce? Trick. What else? Deceive or fornication. Entice sexually. And therefore he plotted against Adam, and by this he came to the garden, and he seduced Kawa, and he touched not Adam. Verse 76. By means of this is how they knew they were accursed. And that which I blessed aforetime, them I did not curse. And that which I did not bless aforetime, Neither them did I curse. And I did not curse Adam, nor the ground, nor the remaining creation, but the evil seed of Adam. But the fruit afterwards transgresses. Therefore, is the creation good. Mm. And I said, Dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. For out of it I took thee, and I will not destroy thee, but I will cast thee out to that which I took thee from. And I shall be able to take thee to me, excuse me, to take thee to come to me again. And I blessed all of my creation, the visible and the invisible. And I blessed the seventh day, for it is the Shabbat, that in it I rested from all of my labor. And I determined on the eighth day that the eighth day would be the first day created without my labor. On account of this, the manner of the 7,000 years is contrary to the eighth. The eight thousand is the beginning, and it is like the first day of the week. The eighth day of the week shall repeat forevermore. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Any comments or questions? Sister Natasha shared the testament of Ray Uben, chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it out. Go ahead. And seven other rukot are given to him at his creation that through them should be done every work of man. Sister Jamila, she says, this lesson is heartfelt as we will be pressured. Well, she just took it out, so I'm going to finish it. All right. Let's go to Bartholomew. Chapter 4, verse 52, I think. Gospel of Bartholomew, chapter 4, verse 52. But Satan said, Suffer me, and I will tell thee how I was cast down into this place, and how Jehovah did make man. I was going to and fro in the world, and Elohim said unto Mikael, Bring me a clod from the four corners of the earth, and water out of the four rivers of the Garden of Eden. And when Mikael brought them, Elohim formed Adam and the regions of the east, and shaped the clod which was shapeless, and stretched sinews and veins upon it, and established it with joints. And he worshipped him, him, and he, and he worshipped him himself for his own sake first, 
because he was the image of Elohim. Therefore, he worshipped him. And when I came from the ends of the earth, Mikael said, Worship thou the image of Elohim, which he hath made according to his likeness. But I said, I am fire of fire. I was the first angel formed. And shall I worship clay and matter? And Mikael saith to me, Worship, lest Elohim be wroth with thee. But I said to him, Elohim will not be wroth with me, but I will set my throne over against his throne, and I will be as he is. Then was Elohim wroth with me and cast me down, having commanded the windows of heaven to be opened. And when I was cast down, he asked also the six hundred that were under me if they would worship. But they said, Like as we have seen the first angel do, neither will we worship him that is less than ourselves. Six hundred captains fell under Satan and all their hosts. Go ahead. Then were the six hundred also cast down by him with me. And when we were cast down upon the earth, we were senseless for forty years. And when the sun shone forty-seven times brighter, Fourth, uh, seven times. And when the sun shone forty-seven four, times brighter than fire, suddenly I awaked, and I looked about and saw the six hundred that were under me senseless. There we go. Hallelujah. 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 It's, it's everywhere. Yeah. 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 It's let me see. Okay, it says, and he worshiped him. Who who is on um, this? He? Mikael. Mikael. Okay. All right. Mikael. The archangel worshiped Adam because he was the image of Yah, and Satan refused to worship Adam. Mm -hmm. And as we said the other day or last night, because Jehoshua would come through Adam. Satan's refusal to bow before this image was his refusal to bow before Yehoshua. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. The metaphysical body of Yah. Shabbat Shalom again, family. Thank you so much for joining us for this Shabbat Day message. We pray that this has been a blessing. This is a fabulous lesson here. Praise God. I'm going to take a minute to go back and screenshot those um, body images. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, from the first time that you had that revelation, mm -hmm. it just, I just keeps growing. Mm -hmm. I keep growing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So again, family, we thank you everyone for your support. We want to um, remind you that after the Shabbat, you can visit HebrewIsRightScriptures.com to purchase your gold edition, your Enoch, your Testament, Yeshua, your concordance, or any book that you have missing from your library. Remember, after Shabbat, when the sun goes down, if you are interested in joining us for Hanukkah, please email us at kayashua at gmail.com. We are beginning our preparations. Uh, for this next feast, and we would be definitely excited for anyone who wants to join us. We thank you all. We love you all. Um, oh, yeah, we got um, a prayer request, so let me know if you want to do that. Okay. Um, from Facebook. Um, those of you who have joined us on Facebook, again, we thank you all, too, for joining us and tuning in. And All right, yeah, Brother George Shippey, who's going to be having um, pancreatic surgery. Blessed be thy name, Jehovah God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In Yehoshua's name, we thank you. And we call upon you, even on behalf of thy servant, George Shippey, Father, that you will show mercy up unto him. And we thank you for your mercy unto him. And for your mercy unto all of us, for you gave us all the breath of life this day. And even though we suffer afflictions, whether it be in the body or outside of the body, you are always here with us. We pray, Father, for your mercy to come pass over him, Mosiah, and for you to heal him, Father, of this affliction in his pancreas and in his flesh. 
that you will restore his body, most high, even as this is the subject for this study, Father, of the healing in the body of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Restore his body and the body of all the sick and the afflicted, most high, in the house of Kai Yeshua. And even in 12 tribes of Israel and all those who believe, heal us, most high, of our afflictions, our sicknesses, our diseases, most high, our infirmities. Quicken us by the Ruach HaKodesh. Let Raphael, your healing angel, Father, minister unto this body of Kai Yeshua and unto those who worship in spirit and in truth. Heal us, Father, and restore us, and let not sickness, uh, disease, or infirmity overcome us, but let us overcome it by our faith in you. We give you the praise, all the praise, honor, and glory in Yehoshua's name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Yehovah, Elohim of hosts. God, Yehoshua HaMashiach. In Yehoshua HaMashiach. Moshiach, our Savior. Asher by Yad Ka. Can you say it again, Pastor? Asher by Yad Ka. Which is your right hand. Okay. God, by Yad Ka. Barata Hashemayim. And from your right hand, you created the heavens. God, her arts. And the earth. Gam ha Adam and Adam. Amen. Men afar ha Adam from the dust of the ground. Hallelujah. Arkain yesh leka kol ha todot. Also, you have all the things. Kira afar nachni. And for you have um, you have blessed us. But we are only dust. Oh, we are only dust. Arkain. Also, kol ha todot. All praises. Get a cool laka. We give unto you. Gam. Anak no mobi mata. And we, um. Modim. Modim. Oh, we thank you. La call us here. For all things. Gam. Ruaka. In your spirit. Gam Toratka. In your Torah, your law. Gam. Yesuateka. Your salvation. Kiataha il. For you are Elohim, your God. Wa ain't a here. And there's no other. Kiataha Mosia. For you are the Messiah. Wa ain't old. And there's no other. Gamataha Ruach Kodesh. And you are the Holy Spirit. Wa Gamataha Kodesh al Kodivarim. And you are the Holy of all things. Gamatahor. Um, Anilo Mavim. Pure. You are pure. Gam Sadiq. You are righteous. Gam Ben Ka Hayahid. And your son is pure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hakem Barekna Nachnu Hayom Haze. And also bless us on this day. Gam Barekna Kashite Yisrael. And bless all the all the um tribes. Tribes of Israel. The Yom Bretzon Ka. In the day of your will, Kovats na call Yisrael, Kokohal na call Yisrael, and the congregations of Yisrael gather all Israel, gather all Yisrael, Bamakum echad, in one place, Tachat ha emet, in the midst of truth, underneath the truth, underneath the truth, Torah ya lahashabat hazeh, gam. Ha Kita Haze. Thank you, Yehovah, for this Shabbat in this class today. Gam Ha Akim. Also, um, the brothers, Akim. Okay. Gam Ha Ako. And the sisters. Gam Al Kodivarim. And all things. Gam Ruach Kwachika. And also your Ruach. Bashim Yehoshua Mashiach. Bashim Yehoshua Mashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 May the Most High bless you all and keep you till next time. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Most High.
Yeah, beautiful. Hallelujah.